I just built the ultimate AI UGC system that allows me to create any type of UGC videos with any products and any actors I like, like this one, just by chatting with it on Telegram and uploading them onto every single social media platform on autopilot. Check this out. Hey there, I want to create a new advert. You can see there's a list of actors that we have uploaded onto our database that we can choose from like Reina over here. Let's take a look. Let's say we like this specific actor and we want to create an advert using her. We just have to respond over here. Open this up, fill up this forms. I can choose the image to be, let's say for this Nike shoe, paste this in, select number of scenes. I set it as one for now, aspect ratio. I can choose the model to be one, 2.5 or VO3. Choose the style, UGC realism. An actor, I can choose Reina, which is the character that we have earlier. Click submit. And now this new ad idea has been added into our ad table. Take a look at our ad table. We do have this new advert created for Reina over here with the name, the image reference, and so on. And let's say we want to generate ads. All we got to do next is just to tell it, I want to generate a new advert for this specific ad. You can see it's found the previous advert that we have created. So let's generate the scenes for this. Please proceed with generating the ad scene for this. Where you can see it's created the advert for us and it tells us that the video is now ready for posting as well because we only set the number of scenes to be one of course if you set the number of scenes to be more than one you actually extend the video and render it for us but because we only want one specific video it's now ready for posting and so let's say i'm happy with this i can tell you that i want to post it so i'm going to say hey i would like to publish this video all right now this video has been published onto all our social platforms let's take a look and just like that we have the video published onto all our social platforms with a unique caption for each of them as well and with this ugc system you can very easily chat with this asian using telegram on your phone from anywhere in the world and you'll be able to generate different types of ai ugc videos finding actors and products that you like making it your very own ai ugc system and this is definitely one of the greatest opportunities because today ai ugc videos have started to become good enough that it's actually gaining millions of views and hundreds of thousands of likes, having brands actually garner a huge amount of sales. Many of the smarter brands today are also leveraging AI to test out thousands of ad campaigns like this to see which one sticks and actually double down on that. And that is truly the future of marketing with AI content systems. And this whole system is built using no code tools like NN, which means anyone without any coding experience could just build it up and use it right away. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how I actually structure this so they can build it for yourself. But of course, if you want to fast track the process and get this whole blueprint so you can just plug and play and use it right away, you can join my school community where I have the latest blueprint prints to my AI UGC system as well as all the different content systems that you can plug and play and use right away. So if you're interested, do join link in the description below. And before we get into the flow of how I build this whole system, this is actually part of my build a AI UGC series where I will constantly share updates on how I'll improve the AI UGC system with the latest AI models while transforming it to the ultimate AI UGC system. So the initial setup over here was from a previous video. So if you want to learn how to build the whole system up from scratch, do check that out. But of course, what we're going to do in this video is how we actually use this specific system that we have built as a template to transform it into a multi-agentic system where we no longer have to trigger it from any end and we can just chat with it via Telegram to get the UGC videos generated for us. Essentially productizing this system into a chat format. All right, so let's go into it. If we take a look at the previous system that I have generated, right, what my system actually have is five different components. The first one is the actor generation system. And this is where initially I actually use a form trigger on any end to create a new actor. If I click execute workflow over here, you can see there is a new form for me to fill up to generate a new actor. And besides creating a new actor, what I have to do next previously is that every time I want to create a new advert, I have to add in a new field over here in Airtable with my ad name, narrative, and all the different information that I want. Once I change the status to generate ads, I would then have to go back to any end over here and then trigger this specific workflow to generate the first scene of the advert. And lastly, once it's set to ready to upload, I will have to trigger this specific publishing system to publish my content onto every single platform. Now, of course, this system does do the work, but the difference is that I I have to always come back to any end to execute the workflow one by one. And so what I actually done to this specific system is that I want to transform this whole process into a AI agent that's able to chat with me on Telegram and call each of these different workflows for me. So I don't have to trigger them one by one on any end or even have to go into the error table at all. And so what I've done first is to separate each of this part into a different workflow. You can see over here, this is for the actor generation system now. This is for the first scenes generated. This is for the scenes extended. This is for render video. 
and this is for the publishing system. Once I've done so, I also create another workflow, which is for generating new ads. So previously, I have to create a new ad from Airtable itself, typing in and selecting all the information over here. But now I should be able to create the new advert like what we have done earlier from our Telegram prompt. And so I'm going to go into how this works in a short while, but let's go through the overview first. After creating all of these six different systems separately, what I do next is to change the trigger from a form trigger or a manual trigger into it went executed by another workflow trigger. And for this one, I set the input to just be status equals to true because I do not really need any input from the main agent. I just have to run it right away and I'll use the status from Airtable instead to trigger each of the workflow. And so I'll do this for every single one of them. You can see I changed the first trigger, okay? And after I've done so, what I'm gonna do is to create another workflow, which is this specific one that allows us to speak to the agent. And so we're going to go through this specific workflow right now. So let's start with the very first part of this section. This is how we're able to actually chat with our agent on Telegram. I started off with a Telegram node over here, open this up. I actually created a new bot on Telegram and you can do so by searching up bot father on Telegram and then you want to create a new bot with a new access token. Once you have done so, what we have next is a switch node and this allows me to speak to the Telegram bot either via audio or via text. Right, so if you open this up, I actually mapped over the voice file ID as well as the message ID from the Telegram node and what this does is that it will actually map these different paths. So let's say if I were to talk to it via audio, it will go into this specific node over here to get the JSON voice file, like the one that we have over here when we speak to the Telegram bot earlier on. And then what it's going to do is that I'm going to pass it over to a OpenAI transcript to transcribe the recording. I'll send it to the AI agent to understand what we spoke to it about. Similarly, if we have a text sent over, it will just send to this specific field. I'll create an edit field to name it as text so that the field name is the same as the audio file and it will be sent over to the AI agent. The next up, I have a code note. And this code note itself is just something I put in to clean up the message sent over so that we don't have any weird spaces between the outputs that the AI agent will give back to us. And then I will have a reply telegram note for the agent to send a reply back to us. And this chat ID will be from my telegram agent. Okay, once this is done, the very first part above actually allows us to speak to the agent on telegram. The next part is where we actually get all the functions of the ultimate AI agent. So for an AI agent over here, we have three components. The first one is the brain. This is where it's going to be powered by a large language model as well as a memory. So it remembers the conversations that we have. And then following that, I have the database section because all of my data is still stored in this specific error table over here. So we want the AI agent to be able to access them and use them to return inputs to us, like for example, the actors that we have in the database to use them for generating our adverts. And then over here, this is connected to the six different workflows that we have for each of the actions like generate the ads, generate the scenes and so on. And so to be able to access all of this information, the AI agent needs a prompt which is sort of like an instruction for you to understand how to communicate with each of these different sub nodes. Okay, so let's open this up. We'll start off with a user message, which is just json.txt, and this will be the text message that we speak to the agent. And this is just the input that we give the agent by speaking to it earlier on. Okay, and then we have a system message, which is the instructions given to the agent. And so for this agent, the main task that it's supposed to do is just to call the different tools. We're using something called a multi-agentic workflow where we don't want to overload one specific agent with too many tasks right? Just like a normal organization, no matter how smart a person could be, it's not ideal to make that specific person do every single task all at once. So we want it to be able to route it to the specific team as well as the specific agents that's able to do the different tasks like generating the workflow or publishing the content for us as well. So I give it some instructions like how it should converse with us and then the different tools that it needs to use, right? So for each of them, there is a different name over here, like generate actor, generate ideas, and so on. And I name them all inside the system message as well. I give it a short description on what each tool is about. So the agent knows when to use each of them. There's also some rules like make sure to clarify first before using each of them and some other examples as well. Once this section is done, I'm going to give it a brain. I'm going to use open router and I'm going to choose GPT 4.1 mini for this use case. And then we set a simple memory node. This is for us to remember. And so I don't need the agent to remember too much. So I set the context window length to five. And so it's only going to remember the past five conversations, but you can always increase the volume as well. If you want it to remember more of your conversation. Once this is done, we're going to go into database. And so for database, what I'm going to have is two different error table nodes. Right, the first one is search actor, where it's able to use this node to search for any of the actors I have in the database over here. And the second one is search ads, where it's able to search for any of the adverts that I have over here as well. 
So for search actor, you can see it's connected to the actor table from our Airtable base. And I set this filter by formula to be defined automatically by the model so that the AI agent is actually able to decide what it is going to search for based on our conversation. Same for return all, I'm going to let the agent decide for itself. And then let's go into search ads. This time it's connected to the main ad table. And similarly, I want it to decide which advert it wants to find so it can use filter by formula. So for example, I want you to find status ready to upload. You will search and return only the ones that is based on that. And this makes the agent a bit more flexible using this tool, as well as return all defined automatically by the model as well. And after this is completed, this is the section that allows us to connect to all the previous functions that we have earlier. And all of this is connected under the tool section using call another NEN workflow. So if you open this up, you can see I'm calling the actor generation system over here and it's just going to send the input status equals to true and a description would be call this tool to create a new UGC actor. Right, this is pretty much the same for the rest. Call this to generate a new ad idea, right? Connected to the generate new ads workflow and similar for the rest of them as well. And once this is completed, I'll turn this workflow to be active and once I do that, I no longer have to click execute workflow. And just by chatting with it on Telegram, it will reply me and call the specific tools whenever needed. And once it's done, we're going to go into the new workflow that we have created over here. And we need to create this to generate a new advert for ourselves. In order to send a form submission just via Telegram, we need to use the Telegram notes. Uh, so what I want it to do when I want to generate a new advert is to return the list of actors first and then let us decide which actor we want to use. Right, so the first note I add in is a search actor note. And what this does is that you will return every single one of the actor in the list. Okay. And now I have a code note over here, which would help us map the actor into this specific format, which would help us organize the actors into the fields over here so that we can send them over to Telegram with the name, description, and the image link. Okay. And then from there, I will send a text message. This will be a Telegram note with the chat ID. And then I'll put a expression over here that allows us to send the actors to choose from. And I'll paste in this specific code note with an expression to format it nicely like this. And that's what we have gotten over here. Perfect. Okay. And once we have this sent over, we want to send a form so that we can fill up the new advert that we want to create over here. To send a form, I'm going to use something called send message and wait for response. Same thing, set up the chat ID for the Telegram note. And then I'm going to use a custom form with all of the information required, like ad name, ad narrative, instructions, image reference, and so on, like number of scenes and so on. All right, and that's what we actually did earlier that allows us to send over the information. And then very quickly, we just have to upload the file of the image reference that we want, which is the Nike shoes that we want to use for the advert. Okay. And then we will search the record for the actor that we have selected in the form, right? This is important because we want to map it to the specific actor over here, right? We don't want it to be a random advert without any actor because when we want to generate the scenes later on, we will need the specific actor selected. To do so, I'll actually set the filter by formula, which will be actor provided in the form over here. And that's why it's so important for us to provide the actor name for us to use, right? And to ensure that this actually happens, right? one of the things I actually did is to have a if note over here as well. So if the actor doesn't exist, what I want to do is to reprompt the Telegram chat to tell us that the actor provider isn't from the list, please choose one of them below. And then we'll repeat the same action again, sending the actor over, sending the form and asking us to fill it up. And this is to ensure that there is no error when we're setting up a new advert. Okay. Now once this is completed, very easily we just have to update Airtable with all the new information and send a text message saying that the new ad has been generated. And that's how we have the conversation that we had earlier over here. Perfect. And once it's completed, now with this, when executed by another workflow, this agent would actually call this specific node to trigger the workflow to generate these new adverts for us. Now, if you notice the form section that we've used over here, this is pretty much the same for the actor generation system as well. So previously, in our previous example, we have a form that is generated manually on any end. To get the same thing generated for the actor using this specific workflow, what we once again do is to change the form to a telegram form using the operation send and wait for response. And we type in all of the information over here for the actor as well. And just like that, we will be able to generate a new actor, right? For example, if I open telegram up and I just say, I want to upload a new actor. And now it's going to give us a form to create a new actor. Respond over here and we will have a form to upload the new actor. 
and the rest of them would be the same. I just have to copy over. Same for the first scene generated, scenes extended, render video, as well as the publishing system. And just like that, thanks to the fact that my systems are built in a modular manner, just by changing the trigger node, I'm able to transform this specific system that is done manually into a Telegram system where we have a multi-agent system that allows us to generate all of these UGC ads just by chatting with it on Telegram. And this is just one example of how you can actually do so. You can also watch my other video where I actually changed this system into a productized app where all you gotta do is to trigger it from Airtable instead of Telegram. And so of course, there's only so much I can cover in a video like this. If you want to really go in depth into building content systems like this, do join my community where I have a step-by-step -step guide on how to build your own content automation systems using no-code tools like NAN, as well as every single update for this AI UGC system where you gain access to all the blueprints and latest updates on how I actually update this system to adapt it to new tools as well as new ways to use it so that you could use it as a template for yourself to productize your very own system as well. And that's all for today's video. If you like videos like this, do give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.